Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is a Monday, welcome to a new week. Hope you guys are having an awesome week for us in Canada. This is school week, this is the week that school starts. Not for the day by day girls, they're starting next week. This is the week that I might get a new horse. Just saying. Anyway, the girls are getting ready for riding lessons. We have lessons with Fiona. Sam's already done chores. I'm excited to go out there and go down and mess around in the barn. I love being in the barn. But this happened this morning. The girls re-measured themselves. We re-measured the girls. So when we first started this a couple, like a year ago, uh, Sophie was here and then she moved to here. And then all of a sudden, just like a few months later, she moved to here. Like that's huge. And Gabby was so super sad to notice that she was here and then she went to here and then recently she went to here. So I don't know how tall that is. I have to measure it. I got Sophie here. She's been collecting eggs. Also, we are having Pacific pink salmon for supper. I love fish. We have, we are opening up a whole brand new egg carton. Look at how many egg cartons. There's a lot of egg cartons. Sam collected them, you guys. Sophie is all ready and dressed oh, for- Oh crap, did Molly ruin my lipstick? Molly ruined your lipstick, but I noticed you have lipstick on it. It's super cute. Um, she's all dressed for riding, ready to roll, and she's been working outside. We're gonna go see what she's been working on. So, oh, jeez, oh, Louise. I hate when big bugs fly on me. I didn't even see what it was. Probably a grasshopper. Oh, a rooster fella. feather. Oh, so you put all their food in there? I was thinking we could make that their bed. And then I put a tarp there. Yeah. And then nothing can get, no water can get in the food. And it's shady where the water is, so the water stays. Oh, they're completely out of water. Food is. Well, I, I like it so. Sophie put it all over here, but I, I was thinking. Purse. Hey, there's like a purse right there. Yeah, it's not I big enough. It's gonna hold. But I know. I think this is more, this is better like. Um, but they won't all fit in there. That's why it's better for food and water. They will all fit in there. If we put two perches, they'll fit perfectly. We'll cover it. So I'm proud of Sophie for being out here and working on her chicken stuff and figuring it all out. She got all the food and water set up for them. She's also getting friendlier. Is she getting friendlier? Yeah. Let's see if we can find an egg that chirps. Chirps. So I, if you didn't see yesterday's video, our, our plan is to lock the babies in here. Sophie gave her some... Uh, some celery. Can I just see your baby? Don't peck me. I just want to see one baby. Is there any? Okay, I don't want to touch them. They're all nice and warm. You're a good mama. Yes, you are. Such a good mama. Um, I just want to like see when the baby pops out. Like I don't want to see it being born. I've already seen that, but I want to see when it comes out. We're gonna have to make a nesting box over here so basically they're gonna be stuck here while the babies kind of grow a little they grow pretty quickly went inside to do the dishes and this is what i came back to she got her dad to help her so this is it it's a door an old door that we don't use that i wanted to use that doesn't fit this is oh right it's this this the, it'll rain through there yeah that's why we're putting like a tarp over that part oh okay um so then they have like a little perch there but they won't perch on it that shape it needs to be like sideways mm -hmm. but that's okay you Good like job. that perch then i do like that perch i just don't want them to climb out and she put the big food here and she's going to switch up the waters so a uh, mama bird mama chicken has her own little pen now that whole section and our other Can chickens please in two days maybe one day wednesday one day, Mom. No, today's Monday. Uh-oh. And tomorrow... She's like, how dare you take away my drink? Oh. Here, look, oh. we brought you the bigger drink. Oh. So, uh, the only other... This isn't going to work because it's on hell. Oh, that looks better. All right, so the only other thing we need to do is we need to figure out a way to prevent the, the food from getting wet. Who wants soggy, and wet food? I our hands so I can get the thing. You can't open it? It's my... There you go. Oh. It's going to be like that at all. Alright, we did it. We sort of did it. We still need a few things to fix. I mean, oh. they could even perch on this. Could they not? The thing we need to make is see what she's doing. She's like, oh, I need to lay an egg. She wants to make a... We need to get a nesting Ooh. box. Get small of those and just stack them up. I, I have... And then make like a little door. I have... Whoa. It in. I have some things we can use as a nesting box. Come on, I'll show you. 
So uh, basically I do not know why, how this is all becoming such a big mess, but it is. We definitely need to figure out the saddle pad collection issue. There's no kittens in the barn. You see kittens out there? No. Uh oh. This is scary. I, but they're probably just in spots that I can't see them. It's because you guys put your stuff on their bed. Aww. <laughs> That's their new bed. I mean, if they just stayed there, I'd be a happy woman. Okay, so they climb all the way up. They run across there. And there's a hole over there yeah. that they get through. So this is how they climb up. They climb up our blankets. Hi, He's like, hello. Our barn is a mess, Sophie. Our barn is a mess. What That's, are you going to do? That's where they hide from that. Yeah, they hide up there from her, who loves them too much. So these are my reins. These are my reins. You bought them for me. I did. I bought them for all of us. Anybody? We. I bought them for Sabrina. So for all of us. Holly. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. He literally is so cute. He's like, catch me if you can. He's teasing Ruby. Look at those big chubby cheeks. Look at those chubby cheeks. This is Lexi's paw. And then Lexi's paws. Rest assured, she is definitely biting them back there. We're down to the barn a little early because I'm going to have to clean up because Sam does a really good job of helping. He does a lot of things. He's amazing helping out. One thing he doesn't do is sweep or clean the arena. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. I'm, I'm okay with that though. Hello, baby mini. A lot of people are worried that I'm getting my hopes up for this amazing little horse and that it might not work out and it might not work out. It's true. And I don't mind that I'm getting my hopes up. I get i know i'm getting your guys's hopes up but that's exciting for me like nothing in our life is as exciting as when you guys get involved so i apologize for getting your guys worked up but i should let you guys know that before we go like we look at hor for horses differently than a lot of people a lot of people go online and look for horses that they like read the description and then be like oh well let's go try it or let's get video so what happens with us we don't try a horse until our trainers are like, yeah, that's the one. Like we never try a horse unless it's the horse that our trainer wants for us. So, I mean, there's always something that can happen to make it not work out. Um, but 90% of the time when we go to look at a horse, it means we're probably gonna get the horse. Another thing is that we only buy horses from a word of mouth. Like all of our horses have come from people that we know and people that our trainers have known. So like we only buy horses that we know, which also helps us eliminate horses. Like we don't try horses that we're not gonna, that aren't possible for us. So our trainers are not really involved in the sale of this horse, unfortunately, because it, they're not Paso trainers, Paso horse people, I guess. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. But um, basically Camilla, the lady that runs the Paso Fino place in our area, you guys should check her out on Facebook is called Fina Vista Farm. Fina, F-I-N-A, Vista, V-I-S-T-A Farm. And it's unbelievable there. Her video, her Facebook page, just I, I sometimes just go watch it just for fun. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyways, um, she is the one, like I told her what I was looking for, told her what I needed. She knows me, she knows how I ride, sort of, um, from riding with us at the, on the trail rides. She knows so much about us and she hooked me up with this lady. She said, Laura, I think this would be a good fit for you. Blah, blah, blah. And then we've talked about it. And yeah, so we're not just going blindly to look at a horse that we've never, that we don't know, have any knowledge of. We're going purposely because we think this will be a good match for me. So yeah, that, that's it. Gabby's shaking the bucket. And they don't care. the first to look here comes Chino Chino's thinking about it they all just looked up at Gabby shaking her bucket and are like yeah now nah, I prefer the grass look at them they're like I know something's happening something's happening in the hood here comes Stormy boy Finn wanted to go I don't think I think Finn lacks the confidence to leave his herd If you guys think that Storm looks lame, he is. It's because he lost his shoe. And then there's Chino. Chino is going to race them all. Woohoo! 
See how careful he is on the grass though? Good job, girls. But if you missed what I was saying yesterday is that the farm that we're taking to the horses to is really close. Actually, I didn't say this yesterday, but the farm that we're taking the horses to is really close to us, which is why we switched. And there's another reason that you guys will find out a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so we're moving them so they're close. 15 minutes versus 40 minutes. It's gonna make a big difference for us. So the entire farm is 80 acres. Well, so the pasture is 80 acres. So I said, like, how are we gonna call our horses? Like, how are we gonna get our horses to come when we wanna ride them? And he said, well, you go out and get them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought we were done those days. 80 acres. And if they don't wanna come, then I don't know what's gonna happen. How come you're not scared of me? Hey, pretty girl? How oh, come? I shared a picture of my new horse on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, then you need to follow me on Instagram because that's where all the breaking news happens. All the breaking news and it's this week, you guys. Anyways, somebody said day by day and they're bays. And I love that, I think that's super cute. I never thought we were gonna end up with all bays, so many bays, uh, but we did, or we are, hopefully. And I'm okay with it, honestly. Honestly, I see people all the time looking, like especially kids, looking, uh-oh. I do not know what's happening over there, but it can't be good. Willa was sniffing Ruby's ear. Can somebody let Ruby back in before she, Willow gets upset and attacks her? Can you let R Willow and Ruby in? Anyways, I see a lot of people looking for their dream horses online. They're like searching and trying to figure out what they want, what color, what age, what breed. And in reality, you don't choose your horse. You never choose your horse. Your horse always chooses you. In the end, you always have to get what's right for you in your situation. You never get to just go out there, pick a horse and buy it, or at least we have never. I'm sure some people do, but I really believe that in the end, the horse that you're meant to get is the horse that you always end up getting. So for all the people out there struggling, trying to find a horse right now, just wait. Keep Somebody at once gave me the advice to sit back, relax, and wait. Put out all the information into the universe of what you, that you're looking for a horse and what you need and it will come to you. And it is, our horses have come to us every single solitary time. And for all of you guys who want a horse but are not searching because you're not even close to being ready to get a horse, I wanna tell you that your horse is out there searching for you at this time and it might not be the exact right time right now, but when the time is right, the two of you will come together. I promise you that. Everybody feels comfortable doing Finn's back feet except for Sophie. Look at the power in that boy. Did you? Yeah. I don't know. I think he likes swimming better to be good with it. In my yeah, he definitely likes swimming better. Oh boy. Able to do them better. I'm to good job. Oh, I know. So there's a problem in our barn. So the problem is the problem in our barn is that Gabby can only put Chino here because he can't turn he can't around, around here. He's too long. He's too long. And Sophie doesn't like this spot because why don't you like that spot? Because I like this spot. I like that spot better than this spot. Yeah, so basically that's the problem. Somebody did not I get enough sleep last night. Sophie's riding video will have already gone up. You guys will have already seen it. And oh my heck, I swear to God, every time she rides, there's like so much growth that I can't get over it. It's like there's a totally different kid every single time she rides. Like I'm always so shocked. Like what is happening to her? Yesterday, I, I Brandon tends to run them a little longer, like he doesn't give as many breaks. And Sophie usually finds that a struggle and usually complains or says like, can I have a break? Yesterday she was so into her lesson that she didn't ask for a break one single time. Yesterday she was so into her lesson she never challenged anything. She jumped I think higher than she's ever jumped. Like it's just insane the growth in her. But I want you guys to know also that this is normal growth. All kids develop at different times so if you're a kid out there and you're struggling and you're scared and you're nervous, look at Sophie and realize that one day you won't be. Just like Gabby was so super scared and then one day she wasn't. It will happen for you too. And if you're an adult out there and you're riding and you're still scared, 
Good luck to you, because I'm so scared. Or get yourself a Pasofino. So some people were wondering about Gabby's half pad here. The reason that she has it like this is because it's the way that it fits Chino the best. And she likes to have a little bit extra material here, because you guys know you have to have lots of um, relief up here for the wither, and he's kind of got if a big wither. If I didn't wither. have that there, this would be crushed on his withers. Yeah, so that's why it's like that. So uh, some people have been asking about uh, doing carrot stretches and that's stuff like that. We actually do do them with all of our horses. Storm's the best at it. On this side, we got so close, but we're, we're bad yeah. at bending this way. Yeah, we're bad at bending this way. The reason that we do them is because our chiropractor wants our, our chiropractor has asked us to do them, especially for Storm, who actually does get jammed up in his neck sometimes. So this. Thank you, that's my halter. I'm gonna take it up to the house. Is it broken? Oh, I need it for my new horse, and that's her color. I know. Well, still, Stella... it's not going to be pink. It is going to be pink. Why? Well, Stella's. You got to think of something like different. I like pink. No, she's a dark bay. You should get a different halter. Pick she yellow. Has too many memories. No, you have yellow. No. Gracie Willow has yellow. I'm trying to get all my stuff together so I can take it up to the house and wash it. Yeah. This was Stella's, and I really like light pink. You should wash for it for a dark bay. I am gonna wash it. it smells kind of perfumey. Fly spray. Do you think I should just get her her own? Yeah, yeah. and not wash this one. Oh, I'm washing it. Don't I want to have an extra just in case. Oh. Gabby wants Chino's Does color to be gray. With gray. But his accent color is like green. Yeah, she likes fluorescent color fluorescent colors, orange and green, but she wants him to be gray. I think she's going to fit a cob size. Just try it on Finn to see if it fits him. Would you guys believe that we all came down to the barn and I came down to clean and then the girls came down and we all started getting ready and we ended up being ready an hour early? That's too small. Won't go over his ears. Okay, well he's got a bigger head than her. I think so. That's perfect. I'll wash it. It's a regular yeah, horse size. Pink. Yeah, he does look good in pink. That's fine. Yeah, That'll fit her. Pink. That's too light. I like. Yeah, they say he dark colors. Pink. Yeah, dark colors pink need light blue. light okay. colors. All right, so try that. Um, is that an extra or is that fins? This fits. No, it's an extra. It's my first ever leather halter. Remember oh, when? Yeah. Rue broke it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Annoying. I was so mad about that. All right, so more. does that actually fit Finn? Yeah. It's all right, leave it there, it's I'll crazy. clean it. I poked holes in it. Now all I need is a lead rope. I poked, there's Gracie's size. Okay, that's all right, I'll use it. I made it Gracie's size. All right, I'll use it for her. Better too. It's Both. Pony, but it fits Finn. Okay, all right. Who wears that one? Uh, it was Gracie's. Oh, and it's but too big for Gracie? But if you're gonna buy it, I need my money back. Oh, okay. That and the later up is $20. <laughs> Literally, I was like, why is it so expensive? Oh, I thought you were charging me $20. No, you're going to use it. It's $20 for Rental. that and the lead rope. Because there's a matching lead rope. Oh, so I have to pay $20 if I want it back? Yeah, because I paid my own money. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so what are those reins for? Would you like to buy an ear bonnet? Oh, I do want to buy an ear bonnet. Can you buy this one? Thank you. How much is it? 20 bucks. All right, I, I, I'd do it. That is not worth 20 bucks. It costs 50 for me to buy. Mm. Give me a buck. Give me money. Yeah. It won't fit. I, yeah, this. Try it on Finn. I don't care if the ears are big, as long as the face fits. So these are Gabby's Western Reigns. She bought them a long time ago uh, when she had Storm. They only fit ponies because they're short on horses. We necks. love them though. She's used these them so many times. Greens. Yeah. So they're Mom, you're meant to be have short. a smaller head than Finn. Cause yeah. All right. Well, I will pay you. All right. Well, I think so too. All right. I'll pay you after I try it on her. We're collecting all my stuff, you guys. Okay, oh. I have a really good deal for you. So she's ridden bitless. So can I use regular reins, or are these better reins for me? Do you want to hear the deal? Right. Because the neck's gonna be short. Do you want to okay. hear the deal? All right. What's the deal? This oh. and this for fifty dollars. All right. It's a deal. Oh wait, I can't use that kind of saddle pad on her unless I ride her in English and I don't plan to ride her in English. Sophia's stunned. She's like, she's like, oh, I thought I had her. But I thought you could use that saddle in English. Trust me, Sophia. You're gonna want that saddle pad back. 
Yeah, this is a collectible. You can't get that color anymore. Yeah, I can. No, no, she can. Oh. There are a lot of colors that you can't get anymore. You gotta keep Stella them because these this. will be worth a lot of money one day. Like these saddle Look, pads. Stella here. Since it doesn't have the, yeah. it, since it these, doesn't have the leather here, it's not new. Yeah. Ones that are new have leather. So these um, Lemieux saddle pads, you wash them and they come out so nice. Like they're just, I mean, a lot of saddle pads do. you want to buy this for $20? I will buy that for $20. Okay, give me money. No, I want to try it on my horse first. I'm negotiating for them for my life, you guys. My saddle pad in Canada costs $400 or $400, $400 for this one. And this is the only kind Fiona says I can ride in, so. And if you buy this without trying it on your pony, because I know it'll oh, fit. Oh, it doesn't match. How did I end up with like a purpley pink instead of, oh, I should have got the light pink. Anyways, so this is my saddle pad. You'll be mad if you don't this buy this. Mine. Oh, I will probably buy it. What? This saddle pad? This saddle pad? Yeah. I bought it for me to ride Stella. Well, she died and I got it. <laughs> $400, I'll give you a deal, $300. Sure. Okay, you give me $300. No. You get her for three hundred dollars. No, no way. That's not how it works. It's hers. It's definitely mine. Yeah. Like this is one it's of the. Definitely mom. This is one of the few things that I bought for myself, you guys. Yeah, you should be. You bought the saddle. Yeah, I bought the saddle for myself. I bought the. Are you going to buy this? I'm probably. I'm going to try it on her. Okay. It's gonna fit. The ears might be a little that, bit big, like it always is on Finn. I don't care about that, but we'll try it. Like, we don't know her yet. Right, so we cleaned up this mess a little tiny bit. Our saddles are all kind of dusty. Um, I think- It needs to go here so I won't forget it. All right, go ahead. And this two has, sweaters. You got two sweaters down here. Yeah, I brought this one down today, and this one's been here for a while. Yeah, I guess it has. it got covered up in saddle pads. All right, I have a saddle pad. I have one saddle. I have, I have like a few things, you guys. Like, who knew? This is mine. Uh-oh. Here's Whose is this? Oh. Oh, this is it. This is my saddle pad. Like, doesn't it feel like... Everything's just coming together. I have everything in the color that I want for her. No, look at the one that. Yeah, that one's really pretty too. I'll give you twenty bucks for this. No, that's okay because I don't think I'm gonna ride her in English. I actually, I actually do have a, Mom, a saddle that probably will fit her. That's long because that's long, so that's able to be used with that kind of saddle for longer. Fiona gave me this saddle pad. I like that one. It's so pretty. you're saying if I get a Western saddle pad, you'll buy it for me? If it's pink. Okay, I'll get the pinkest, pinkest one. Light pink. Hey, bro, don't you look at that. I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you can show me. Did you guys just see Storm following Gabby and Chino, shaking his head like trying to move Chino's feet and make him know that she he's the boss of her. Like this is the, this, this is the issue. He is jealous of Chino. He doesn't want Gabby riding Chino. And yesterday, I didn't get it on camera when Brandon was here. Gabby rode Chino up the driveway and Storm stood at this gate making this awful noise, staring daggers at them, staring daggers at them. The only difference in starting the supplement as that he's not super aggressive like he, he has never he hasn't taken it to the next step where he's hurting anybody like the other day when Kaylee was here you guys saw he was actually physically aggressive like ready to attack them in, in outrage like he's just a dominant horse oh dear ah uh, here I find myself in the middle of a field with a angry horse that's the supplement I don't know I've given him two loading doses I'm almost wondering if I need to, cause it worked instantly with Stella. I don't know if this is the one for him. Uh oh. Heads up Gabby. Maybe you can show me out of here. I think she got something in these. So please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping over your time. But you look so amazing. I missed it, but he just galloped over here. I feel really bad for him. He doesn't understand. Like, I don't know. Some people might say that it's the horse, but even if Chino, even if Finn is in there with him and Gabby is on 
Chino and walks away from him, he, he it upsets him. It's okay, Stormy. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, two days until you get your shoe and then she'll ride you again. Okay, your turn's coming. You gotta get your shoe on. Yeah, we had another hard lesson. I think it's gonna continue to be hard until they get on the same page. They still don't connect. It's just something that you have to get through every single horse that you buy. There were a lot of tears and a lot of frustration with Storm. In fact, so bad that we had so much hate from so many like adult women were like freaking out about about Gabby when she first got Storm and how they rode together. Like it's us. And then Finn and Sophie had to learn each other. Like it's just one of those things that has to happen. When I get my new horse, there's going to be a lot of bad moments. <laughs> oh, trying to think of just the good moments. So me and Finn are really learning together. And before when we got him, he was all slow and westerny. And now he's the English pony that no one ever imagined he would be. Oh, we all knew he would be that. I don't know. I could see it. You could see it. I thought he was just going to be a lazy pony. But it's nice to be where you are right now, right? And it took like a year and a half for and you really to get here. now the speeds. Yeah, so now you're learning together. It's gonna. It takes a long time when you get a and horse. And we didn't refuse to bounce. I know, it was amazing. Like, and if also... If the red one as a cross rail, I would have done that with you I know, you're so brave now. So here's the also, it's hard for Gabby because... They're, she her horse is really long and really big and it makes it 10 times harder to ride when you're in at a sink. Sophie just said, you know, non-gated horses are fun too. And I said, yeah, they definitely are. Just Sophie. gated horses are your kind of horse. They're my kind of horse because I can't hack. I can't handle a, a, you, uh, you that can't kind handle of horse. This. No, I can't. It'll get better, Tino. I promise it'll get better. Okay? Got something, every good thing comes to an end. At least it always happened to me. I'm telling you this now. You don't need to worry, cause I got this all down. And we get all together. And we can be so much more than who we are. So much more than who we are. We can, we can. That means you have to buff that though. Such a cutie. All you see up there are feet and a oh, tail. Oh, yeah, Finn's waiting. Yeah, I'm getting retreat. Feet and a tail. Our boys are moving to the new barn, our winter barn, where we keep them for the winter in two days. So I told the girls that we need to take time to clean all their brushes and everything. I'm getting started with all my pink brushes. So that my new girl has everything fresh and clean and ready. After I wash all my brushes, I like to lay, leave them laying in the sun to dry. Did you guys know that the sun is an antibacterial? It will kill, it will kill bacteria and germs and even viruses. So I like to leave my stuff out here, let it dry before I pack it all in. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 